Hi, welcome to another tutorial from How Tools. Now, due to a virus that is uh, infecting people around the world, uh, businesses in Malaysia are required to do contract tracing on people who are visiting their premises. Now, whoever that uh, visit your shop, you will need to write down their details on a form like this. I noticed that a lot of big companies they have the budget to do the online web tracing. While, uh, however, the smaller companies they they use uh, forms such as this to do the contract tracing. Now, uh, forms such as this are not only inefficient; it is it is also very dirty as everyone is using the same form and is and the same pen to uh, fill in the form. So today we are going to use a Google form which is a free product from Google to do the contact tracing and we are going to generate the QR code for the form uh, after we have created the form. So to do that we go to google.com and slash forms. So uh, once we are in Google form website uh, we select the personal version which is uh, free. Okay, so once we are in the form website, there are a few templates. So we can use this readily available uh, template to create our tracing form. To do that, we will use the uh, almost similar form, uh, which is the contact information form. Now we click on contact info information form to, link, uh, to load this form. So once we have uh, loaded this template, we can use this form as our contract tracing form. We will be modifying the fields. Um, we will change all these uh, contact details into a uh, MCO standard contact tracing form. So the first thing we want to do, a uh, maybe we want to rename this form. So we just put in a uh, MCO lockdown customers description. On the next field, which is the name field, uh, we will leave this uh, by default as this is required. Uh, on the MCO form. So uh, next field is the email field. Uh, I'll probably leave this uh, as option so you can either remove this. So uh, it will be nice to have the uh, email contact of your customer. So uh, over the uh, next field is the address. This is definitely not uh, necessary. So I'll probably change this to temperature of the customer. So you have the uh, options to change the size of the field or the type of the field. Okay. So for this temperature is probably uh, the short answer. Over the next field is the uh, phone number field. We will probably leave this field as uh, default and we may change this field to a required field. This means that the uh, customer will have to fill in this uh, particular field before they can uh, proceed with the form. I will also set the temperature to a required field. Now let's go back to the form to check uh, what fields that we are missing. So we still need uh, an IC number field, a uh, time check in and a date check in field on the MCO tracing form. So we will proceed back to the Google form to uh, complete our fields. So next we will be adding the IC number field. Uh, this command field looks great for IC number field. So we will be changing this to IC number. The paragraph uh, field type looks great for IC number. I guess I uh, will be leaving this as default. Next, I will be adding two new fields into our form. Uh, to do that, we click on Add Questions. On the new questions, uh, we set our required question. So the next field would probably be the time check in field. Okay, uh, Google form is able to detect the uh, time by default. So I will just in case I will be reselecting this into a time format. Okay, we will proceed by adding the last field into the form, uh, which is the uh, date. So to do that, uh, we click, click on add questions. So uh, make sure uh, we put the field name as date. So uh, Google Form is able to accurately uh, detect the field type. So just in case, I'll be re reselecting the field type into a date. So uh, I would be setting the date 
the time in and the uh, temperature and the phone number into uh, required form just in case Okay, once we have done with the form, uh, we also have the options to customize our form into a nice looking form. Uh, to do that, we click on the Team, Customize Teams button on the top corner. So over here, we have the options to customize the header or the color of the form. Uh, feel free to play around with the customization. So I will be adding a uh, header image into the form, uh, which looks kind of nice for your business. I will also change the color of the form to uh, kind of uh, suit the header image. So I think we are good to go. Uh, we are now ready to use the uh, MCO lockdown form. Okay, uh, after we have finalized the template and all the fields that we required, there is also one uh, important step that we want to set. Now go to settings. And we need to remove uh, this option on the form. So what it does is uh, this option only limits uh, one action for one Google uh, account. So we need to be uh, we need to remove this option so a customer can uh, multiple sign in into the uh, form uh, on different occasions. So once we have done that, click on save. So uh, once we have done everything, we need to generate the QR code for the uh, form. Next, we need to find the uh, link for your uh, generated form. So to do that, we go to send. The first option would be the email. Uh, we will select the second option. Uh, this consists of the uh, public URL for your generated form. Now you can see that the uh, URL of the form is pretty long and we will shorten this URL into something nice and easy. To do that, we click on uh, Shorten URL. So we will get a nice looking URL. So whoever that access this URL will be able to fill in the form that we uh, generated. But the problem is it's pretty hard for customer to get this URL. So we will be generating the QR code for this URL. To do that, we click on Copy. So once we have copied the URL, we can generate the uh, QR code which will redirect to the URL. I'm using this uh, website to generate the QR code for the URL, but you are free to use any QR code generator to generate your QR code. On the website, I will be selecting URL, then I will be pasting my URL into the website. So it is auto-generating the QR code for the URL. So whoever that is uh, scanning this QR code, uh, they will be redirected to the Google form that we made. Next, I would be saving the QR code image. So uh, once you have your QR code, you can use our template uh, can replace this QR code with your uh, generated QR code or you, you can print this and place this in front of your shop. You can also download the template for free on the description below. Next, let's try to scan our QR code that we generated. So it seems to be redirecting to the correct uh, Google form. Let's fill the form with some uh, data so we can check whether the form is working. So once the uh, customer has filled in the form, uh, we can see the response or the entry that is filled by the customer. So these are the details that is filled by the particular customer. To export the details into Excel, we can click on the icon on the top here uh, so we can view all the data on the excel spreadsheet so here is it these are the data on the excel spreadsheet so i hope that the video has been helpful uh, do give us a like and hit the subscribe button if it has been thank you for watching